All right, this is Grant with GC Vintage Shop. Back with you again for another um, haul video. I guess you could say this is a large haul that we had this weekend. And there's a bunch, a variety of different things from Pyrex to Disney to Pillsbury Doughboy. Even a Betty Boop and some Garfield stuff in here as well. So we'll go through and show you what we are going to do with all this and everything else. Uh, first, we'll start with this uh, going to grandma's vintage suitcase. It's actually perfect on the inside. I only have one hand free, so I can't really open it for you. But it's nice on the inside. It looks like it was never used. It has a little dust and a little wear on the pleather where the corners meet. But that's fine. That's acceptable with age. Uh, we then have these strawberry shortcake uh, mugs. There's five of them. They're all in the same condition. And they're all, what's that, Fire King? Yeah, Anchor Hawking. So what we're going to do with these is I'll make a listing for one and then set the quantity to four. So someone can order one or they can order all five since they are all the exact same and the exact same shape and everything else. We then have this nice Pyrex bowl. The name of this print is escaping me right now, but I know it's a highly sought after and desirable print. Pulled this out of an estate sale with a lot more Pyrex as well. There you go, right there. I wish it was the whole set. This is only the 403. We need the 402, 401, and 404, but we'll sell the bowl by itself first and see how it goes. Got this cool Pillsbury Doughboy uh, jar here, lidded jar. Don't know much about it. Got this garage sale fine. The rubber's starting to go on the outside, but it's still a nice piece. Then we also have, from that same estate so I got that last bowl, we have three of the 401 Amish butter churn print. So again, like I said, I'll make one listing. They're all in the same quality, same shape and everything else. So I'll just make one listing and I'll put the quantity at three. People can either buy one, two, or three. Just easy process when you're selling on Etsy is if you have multiples of something, just to add the quantity and just put one up there and then put in the description. If you'd like to buy more, contact me and we can do a flat rate ship rate instead of having Etsy calculate it for us. Got this cool um, Mickey and Minnie Mouse salt and pepper shakers, as well as these Pillsbury Dough, Pillsbury Doughboy salt and pepper shakers, and these vintage Seven Up bottle salt and pepper shakers. Then have this American uh, glass trivet, trivet, whatever it's called. Christy actually pulled this off the wall at the same estate sale that we got all the Pyrex at. Now we've done these before, and we've had them before, and I love these things. They're Tupperware. This is the sugar container, and then this, I've never had this one actually, this is the creamer. Now they're not in like the desirable like yellow or blue color, they're in white, but they still should probably sell real well. We then have the, before the Yeti, before the Tervis, there was the Thermo set, Serve. So we have two sets of four mugs, both are this wildlife print with different images, different animals on there. Just happen to pick up two deer at the same time. Hold on. Look like there's the one with the bass. These are pretty cool. We got two complete sets. They're different though. One is a black set and one's a brown set. But still, it's awesome to have the complete set instead of one. <clears throat> Another cool thermal serve thing that we got are these Stallone glasses. That's got to be the Rocky era right there. And then here's the other one in the white tank top. These are pretty funny. Something that we've had before that sold real real quick was the Dunkin' Donuts Thermoserve with the original orange and pink logo with that nice 90s stripe and pattern. We then have this complete set of uh, Tangeray's glasses, the green glass. These are from the 90s. They're not that vintage, but they're still pretty cool, and there is a market for them. So again, we'll pick up what we can sell. And as long as it's in that before 1999 era, that's that's what we're trying to get. Uh, moving right along, we have these uh, set of three, Joe Cool, Snoopy Dancing Snoopy, and then Running Snoopy uh, mugs. I forgot what these are. Yeah, these are, uh, it says 1958, but that's the copyright for Snoopy. These mugs were made in Japan. I'm guessing they're from the 90s. Do some more research on the brand and everything. We'll go from there. Another good thing to pick up are these lids. So 
So these are for the little fridges. So we got each of these lids pretty cheap at an estate sale. So regardless if you have the piece or not, just go ahead and pick up the Pyrex lids because the Pyrex lids themselves are still worth money. And if you're trying to complete a set or something like that, you'll have the lid to complete that set. And we have the larger fridge right there with the Amish butter churn pattern on it. We have two of these nesting casserole dishes for the homestead print or sunflower. Here's another large Cinderella bowl, it's the Amish butter print, a small primary bowl, Amish sesame print, and then the small Cinderella bowl. So when we were at the estate sale to get all the Pyrex, there was another guy there doing the exact same thing, and we kind of just started grabbing, and it just kind of, I got the top one, he got the two middle ones, and I got the bottom one. And that's just part of the process. You know, you never know what you're going to find, and you, you just have to go with that mindset that you might not get it all, just get what you can. And that's where we're at on that, which is perfectly fine. I can sell them by the piece, or I can just wait and try and get the two missing bowls to make it a complete set. Another, we have some uh, Fire King back here, different patterns. There's a green leaf. There's that cool like maple leaf. And then more of like a burnt sunflower thing. These are all picked up at Goodwill for 99 cents to a dollar. It's just about saving and preserving the history on those because they're not top, they're not fast sellers, but they're still really pretty and they should be saved and appreciated just as much as any of this Pyrex should be, in all honesty. You have this other nice print casserole dishes as well, all with their lids, perfect condition, no scrapes or anything on them, which is excellent. We have another Pyrex carafe right here. It's pretty nice. The lid's not broken or anything like that. It is. I think it is missing the centerpiece where you put the coffee, but I'm not really sure. I'll have to do some more research on it. I know that their Pyrex carafes are real nice and everything else like that, plus because they're stovetop ready. Another cool thing, not all Pyrex is created equal, and sometimes people pass on the clear stuff, but when you have something like this, which is a large roasting casserole dish with the lid, you can't pass it up. You can't beat it. I mean, you don't know, it's not going to be pretty. It doesn't have the print, but people want this type of Pyrex because this stands the test of time, and it's massive. It can put a whole... You can put a small chicken in there, maybe even a whole chicken, maybe even a large chicken. Uh, we then have these uh, Genie and Snow White figurines. They're made in Japan. Like always, Disney stuff always sells. These figurines sell somewhat. You just have to price them correctly, you know. And we try and get them at a price that we're comfortable with so that we can resell them. Because sometimes they don't move that quickly. Like Snow White will sell, but I don't know how long it'll take for the Genie to sell. Some other cool stuff that we get all the time for when we're doing local events are these old school miniature uh, scenery postcard things. Everybody seems to like those. We don't really put them online. We sell them more at our vintage markets and stuff like that because the markup for them to sell online is not that good. But at the vintage market, it's like a $1 or $2 item that we know people will buy or think is interesting and they'll collect it and It'll move on to the next house that someone cherishes it and everything else like that. We then picked up, I'm going to try something different. <clears throat> Watching the garage sale guy, Lonnie, out in, uh, in, out in uh, Louisiana, He's, he was doing patches. So I'm going to try and do some of these patches. I picked these up at a Disney sale. You know, it says 350 That's the old Mickey logo. So that means that these are old. And then we have um, a Mickey, a Donald... And then a Minnie Mouse. Also got to pick up some of these cool stuff at that other Disney sale. Are these old matchbooks. So Epcot, Tobacconist, Main Street, USA, Magic Kingdom, the Caribbean Beach Resort. And if you look right there, there's the old Epcot logo. So that's actually pretty cool. And Chrissy also grabbed this bag of ceramic uh, ornaments. I haven't been through it yet, but just from the top there, these are older. These are from the 80s and stuff like that. So these will probably sell as well, real well. Anything Disney always sells for some reason. Always sells. Everybody loves the mouse. Speaking of the mouse, here's, one, here's some more stuff. 
It's like a little uh, travel bag, or anything else like that. Looks brand new on the inside. It has a little rough edge, right, rough area right there. But again, I'll just let it be known that it has that. The logo and everything that's printed on there is still in great condition, and the zipper works perfectly on that. Uh, we then have this uh, latch hook kit. This is from the 70s. This actually makes a huge rug. I think it's uh, one foot by two feet. So it's not that big, but I just know that it's pretty big compared to some of the latch kits that I've seen, latch hook kits that I've seen in the past. And this is from the 70s. The box is a little damaged, but it's new in box and it still has the original cellophane on it. So that's always nice to have when you're listing stuff like that. Here's a cool Kodak thousand piece puzzle. Again, don't normally pick up puzzles, but unopened, factory sealed. So we'll give that one a try and see what we can get with it. We have another puzzle here. This one is opened, but this one is from the 40s. It's an octagonal poster. It's got a cool little uh, bird scene right there. Heading south. I did open it up and check all the pieces, even though the nice lady said that all the pieces are there. I just wanted to double check to make sure myself. That way I can sell it as that. Have another pickup. This is another Goodwill pickup. This is actually from the bins. It's a Singer sewing thing. So it has some invisible clips right there. And it's a bunch of missed pieces for, um, what was it again? It was the short stem. It's to add rough. This is a ruffle one. Here's the tightener tool. And there's a few other to add zippers and stuff like that. So this is actually a kit that people need, even though this is vintage. People still use these sewing machines, so they always need these backup pieces. Another cool thing that we picked up was this waterworks game from um, Parker Brothers. It's the leaky pipe card game. All the pieces are in there. But these games are super cool because if you see, oh, everything got messed up in there. There's the instructions. There's the cards, There's the. this is a tub to hold the cards. And then in here, are these metal wrenches, which is really interesting. Most games nowadays are all plastic pieces except for Monopoly. And Parker Brothers was making metal pieces for small games like this <clears throat> back in the day. Have some more Pyrex and Fire King over here. Just found a piece, found another one of this Astro print right here. It's real nice. Of course, the green flowers. This is one of those little casserole dishes. It's always real nice. It's missing the lid, which isn't that big of an issue, but it's still a great print to have. <clears throat> then we have a white primary bowl, clear bottom. It's a 403. It's a little damaged but it's worth saving from the trash or anything like that because it can be used and it can be revitalized and everything else like that. Have this awesome wind up Mickey Mouse clock. It still works and everything. I don't have it wind up right now because Chrissy would kill me because she hates the tick tock tick tock that it makes. Then we have this cast member only Mickey shaped hat carrying case. It's actually pretty neat. It has the white little ruffles and everything on it. And we don't, again, this is something that we wouldn't pick up, but completely clean on the inside. So worth picking up and saving. We have three Pyrex juice, juice jars. One's missing a lid, one has the lid, and then one has a weird lid that I don't think goes with it. But Again, these are nice little pickups. These are filler items that we can keep and they sell, but they're not that valuable. They're just filler items, basically. Picked up this Betty Boop cookie jar. She is a little bit worse for wear. She has some paint loss right there on the heart and a few other spots as well as the top of the head and everything else like that. But still, I might lose a few dollars on that. But again, this is something that needs to be reused, recycled. Somebody will love it. And it'll be awesome in someone's kitchen. And then another cool thing is this catnap. It's actually a blanket backpack. And 
Best thing, still has the original tag on it. So as you can tell, the spec, this bag is actually from the 80s. So I'll list it as so and everything else. And there we go. That's uh, what we picked up for this weekend. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe our, like, like our channel. Subscribe our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, everything else to keep uh, up to date with everything that we're doing as well. And if you're interested in buying any of this, we do have our Etsy shop. So just go to Etsy search and look up GC Vintage Shop. Thank you. Have a good one.